All right, folks, this is one you've got to pay crazy close attention to. It's about TikTok ads, $3 leads right now. Matt Johnson, Matt, say hi. Hey. I had Matt on two and a half years ago talking TikTok organic. You missed that boat. Don't miss this boat. We're going to talk about everything, cracking the creative, how you went from $6 leads to $3 leads, 4.5% click-through rates, all the nerdy stuff, $115 booked calls. He's getting clients, B2B clients. Uh, we're talking about his training, how to get access to his free training, how to work with him, how his five T's of ads, the secret of hooks, and his Facebook real success all on this garlic marketing show. You do not want to miss it. And of course, it's brought to you by videocasestory.com. One of the best creatives for almost all of your ads is your customer stories. Go to videocasestory.com to learn more how to collect, craft, and deliver those. All right, let's get started. So tell me what you've done with them before we get into how to do it, how like successes, what have you managed to do with TikTok ads? Yeah. Like I'm very much like a direct response marketer guy when it comes to this kind of stuff. And I'm running a pretty typical VSL funnel in there. So we're talking, um, um, and I've, I've also done a lot of, uh, I've done a lot, I've run a lot of lead magnets in there as well. It's been pretty successful B2B. I've, I was seeing about six to $7, uh, leads B2B wow. right now I'm running a B2C off and, th and those are with, and I was getting $12 CPMs too. That's in B2B. And I knew I was on to something. I hadn't had the creative totally cracked though. I remember this is why I've been so vocal about it lately. Cause I've totally cracked the creative wide open now. And it's totally opened it up for me at the time when I was running, when I was doing in early tests and I was doing, um, you know, like I tried, I was doing PDFs. I was doing blueprints, like lead magnet type stuff. I was doing, um, and this is the first big lesson for your audience. Everybody thinks that like UGC and selfie videos does the best because it's native to the platform. Mm -hmm. Let me be clear about this. The best way to win with video creative on a platform is to not be native. You need to do exactly the opposite from what you see in the feed. It's called pattern interrupt and it's just marketing mm -hmm. 101, right? Yeah. So the UGC videos and everything, like I was getting 0.5, 0 0.6% click through rates on those. And everybody running TikTok ads that I would talk to would be like, yeah, that's about normal. And I just came to figure out that we're, we were all just doing it. We're all just doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. So um, I was getting, but I was still getting $6 leads and it was $12 CPMs, which is really wow. good. Like if you're on Facebook ads and you're doing B2B lead magnets, you're looking at $40 CPMs. Same with YouTube ads, by the way. They've gotten expensive. Like it's not ground floor time anymore for YouTube ads. So no, yeah, they've gotten expensive there too. And forget about Google ads, you know? Yeah. And then I started moving into, okay, well, what if I just try high ticket VSL funnels? And um, I, I tried a different type of creative. Uh, I've been, and um, it, I don't know if cinematic is the right thing. You know, I'm a video guy, right? Yeah. So, you know, I've got a studio here and everything. Um, so we, I just shot it with a very good camera, um, shot it with a 14 millimeter lens, you know, so it has that YouTube look, a little bit of fisheye. Um, and I made it, you know, it's hard to say in podcast terms, but maybe Ian can find a way to splice in or link to the ad or something. So you can see this ad it's bananas. Um, so um, it uses a scripting formula that I've developed and I'll share it with you later. Uh, but essentially it, it's a one minute ad. It's not a short video. Don't listen to TikTok when they say 10 to 15 second video ads do the best. It's not true. It's not a short video. It's about, it's one minute long and it's constantly pattern interrupting. Like there's a cut every two seconds in the video. And every time that the cut changes, I shot it in 4K and I was just cropping in and out and changing me all over the place. And every 10 seconds, I would add like what I call like a personality hit, which is just like almost like a joke that I slam in there with a sound effect and a crazy thing. And this is just to keep the ADD people on TikTok attached to it. And I'm telling you right now, it was a 0.5% click-through rate on like the UGC selfie stuff. I have a 4.5% click-through rate now, and that's at scale. Wow. Like, uh, so this stuff works, and I'm getting $3 VSL opt-ins. $3! 
Wow. And booked calls at about 1.15 or so. And, and yeah, and I've closed sales from it as well. So, I mean, the, the leads are good. I mean, like, these are good calls. So I'm just so excited about it because anybody that was running Facebook ads in 2015 knows what it was like. And yeah. this is like that, you know, this is like that. There's so much more to say, but that's, um, that's kind of where I'm at with TikTok ads. That's amazing. And, you know, it, you are going to be opening up a cohort to help people train people on using these right now. I mean, obviously there's probably a window for these. I, I don't know how long it'd be. I'm guessing probably six to eight, maybe 12 months a year, but there's huge opportunity to really build an audience here and make some money. Uh, tell me about working with you on it before we get into how this works, your techniques a little bit deeper. Yeah, I don't know when this is going to air. Um, I'm starting a cohort on September 27th for a pilot group. Um, and actually for that pilot group where I'm offering to have my agency make the TikTok ad creative for those folks, because I don't wow. want that to be like, I don't want people to sign up for the program and then get behind because they get intimidated by the video side because the selfie videos don't work. So uh, anyway, essentially like the program, the TikTok ads accelerator program is being designed to go from the ground up essentially. It's mostly for lead gen. I do have an e-commerce person in my first pilot program and that'll be fun to work on. And I know we'll have a lot of success and we're going to get an actor in to help shoot that stuff. But um, I think it's, I think it's mostly for lead gen stuff. And um, essentially like all of my programs start with a blitz training. Like it's all about like, I want to get results right off the bat. And then there's deeper training. So I teach you everything you need to know and the basics to get your first ad up in the first like 10 to 12 minutes of like video lessons. And then of course there's weekly calls and all that stuff. It's a coaching program. Um, but then, uh, and then we can go deeper later on. So uh, I have, you know, we go through my TikTok ads formula for, for scripting, uh, pixels, all the boring stuff. If you have no experience media buying, it's really built for the beginner because a lot of people have never gone into the back end of TikTok ads for sure, mm -hmm. you know? So that's sort of the basics of it. And how does someone contact you? What's the best way to apply for this program? What I just changed the, the URL for it. What did I make the URL? We'll put a link in the show notes. <laughs> You'll send it to us. We'll put a link. Oh, 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 yes. TikTokprofits.org slash training. There's a free video training there where you can learn my system. And you'll have a link to apply there for the next cohort. Enrollment isn't open now, but there will be another cohort. I like working in cohorts, man, because people do the work. Yeah. That's smart. You know, how many, how many people will be in it? Just six in the first one. I'll open wow. it up. But I'll open it up bigger for the next one. Um, and um, six people, that's that's not that many, which is great. You got a lot of personalized attention. Yep. So who, you know, you said B2B. Who would you say this would be perfect for? Who TikTok ads right now? I don't think that, I think that everybody should be using TikTok ads unless you have a 55 plus exclusive audience. Nice. Like literally, I'm like, who wouldn't use it? You need to use it. Love it. And By the way, let me just point this out because I think this is important. I don't, and I bet you a lot of people don't know this. I saw a report on this, and this has become a huge topic. And if you have been like, if even everything I'm saying today and my results, everybody hears results and all this crap, whatever. But listen, TikTok is overtaking Google as the Gen Z search engine. Like, we're talking about the future of intent based traffic is on TikTok. And wow. you can actually, we're seeing, TikTok isn't open about this, but you can actually, from what I can tell, target search queries in the back end of TikTok ad what? manager. That's crazy. It, it, it's insane. I mean, you, if you Google it, you'll see the reports. There was a huge report done by one of the reputable, I don't remember who it was, might have been Gallup or something. It was one of the big reputable ones. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yeah, Gen Z is using TikTok. And then I asked my intern, I was like, is this true? She's like, oh yeah, we all go to TikTok to search for stuff. 
We don't go to Google. And I'm like, oh my God. I mean, th this like intent based traffic, like this is going to crush Facebook if this ten if, if this becomes true, because Facebook was never able to get their search going. Remember, I don't yeah. know if you remember, there was a time oh, yeah. they tried. They tried to make I thought for sure. Thing. I thought they were going to win that because they had so much more data. Totally. But they totally lost. But TikTok is actually winning that fight. And that's the reason why Google ads have been so attractive because you pay more, but you get, but it's, it's, it's like people that have intent to buy. Well, TikTok is taking that over now. And remember yeah. like the Gen Zers of now are going to be the 30 year olds of tomorrow. So, I mean, like also yeah, they're all there now. Like I'm not targeting them 25 yeah, to 50, you know, here's the article. Yeah. TikTok yeah. There you go. Surgeon. There you go. Yeah. And it's, if you needed, if you need really needed a reason to try this, this is it. Yeah. And, oh, and it's this written by the chief strategy officer of Vayner Media. So yeah, so she probably knows what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she's <laughs> she's got some data there, right? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, these are the kind of searches we might expect Google to have a monopoly on, but guess what? They don't. So yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Prior to engaging with authentic content. Yeah. And, and, and tr try it. If you go to the TikTok search engine and you type in something you would type into Google or YouTube, um, you're going to get stuff there, right? Like how to get, like, I, I, I just, to uh, just to test it out. Like I was go, I went in cause I don't use it as a search engine. I'm 41, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I went in and I was like, how to clean up a wine spill. Like that's something that you would go on you. And it was like all sorts of videos and they like, and, and they weren't hashtagged or anything like it. The algorithm has just identified from the video content and the text content, what to show in that search. Interesting. That's... And you can be there in ads. Like, it's like Google ad. It's going to be like Google ads, except with video. And, yeah. but better than, but, but like different than YouTube. I don't know, better than YouTube, but different than YouTube, you know? Interesting. It's, it's and, awesome. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just such a cool, it's just a, such a cool time to get on it. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know, and it's, it's, and everyone's like, oh, it's scary. It's scary. Like we were talking about before. That's the best time. Cause you can mess stuff up and still win. Like you were saying, like you get went from a six, $7 lead down to $3 lead, just testing stuff out. I mean, even if you're at $10 a lead for most people, that's still cheaper than anything you're going to get. I mean, you can't even get $10 a click on Google. I mean, I unless, unless it's like, <laughs> unless it's like. I'm getting 90 cent clicks on my current B BSL high ticket coaching ad. 90 cent clicks. And I, I mean, are you doing any other retargeting or anything? Or is this just straight up? Are you, I'm not. I'm planning on doing some uh, Facebook retargeting. Uh, yeah. I haven't set it up. I haven't set it up yet. I've been thinking about doing that, but I haven't set it up yet. This is just yeah. cold. This is just, just cold, cold traffic. traffic. Cold traffic. Not no retargeting, and your simple BSL. How? And I imagine it's been running for not that long. That you're 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 probably going to increase your or decrease the cost per lead down considerably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's three bucks um for uh yeah. for an email now um so Jesus. if you want to build if you want to build a list you should be doing this i mean you you can't get it you can't get cheaper than this to do this and it, listen and let me just get over this now because i've had lots of really good sales calls with people from these ads these are good leads okay yeah you know these are good leads like i have a coaching program right now that the vsl is running for to help people crack 10k in their first business you know it's like passion to profit type program I got on the phone with this guy the other day he has a phd he's passionate about helping people um it's like these are good leads man like, he has money he signed up he's coming on board you know yeah. like it, it's like these are good leads so get over that like objection you know yeah, yeah. and there's a i mean everyone's trying to figure out tiktok so they're on it Right now, every business is trying to figure it out. So they're on it. And just so because they don't post doesn't mean they're not there. Like everybody's oh, lurking. Yeah, everyone's lurking. I, I mean, it, it's funny because you say that because it's like I posted. I have posts from back when it was whatchamacallit. Uh, what was it before? Musically. Musically. And it's funny because I'll see the views on there and I'll see people all of a sudden viewing it, viewing it. And I'm like, and I'll click through because I know them. And I'm like, zero posts, zero posts, zero posts. You know, and they don't like anything. They don't do anything on it. They're just lurking, like you said, but they're yeah. there. 
they yeah. are and there. TikTok is more like crack any social media platform that's ever existed. So the lurkers have pretty long session times. I, I should look that up, actually. I actually don't know what the average session time is of a TikTok user, but I bet you it's bigger than you'd expect. Um, I mean, YouTube oh. infamously has 40 minutes, you know, but the, but I wonder what it is because it's I mean, you you lurk on TikTok, right? It's very hard to rip yourself off of it. Um, I don't even think I, I mean, and I'm not like ethically. I don't love that for culture. <laughs> no. Let me be honest here. I no. really don't like I have two kids and I don't want them spending their lives on TikTok. But, but listen, as an advertiser, you've got to be realistic. <laughs> That's another thing. It's like exactly. if, if you're you selling realistic. something. If you're selling something that can, I was just talking about this. If you're selling something that can help someone, if you're selling something that can really help someone's business. You have to be realistic about how people are using it. All right. You, you can't be like, well, people shouldn't spend all their time on Facebook or shouldn't spend their own time on TikTok. So I'm not, you know, I'm not going to take advantage of that. I'm like, then some D bag is going to and take their money. Mm -hmm. So I, and it's interesting because you're talking about B2B. Right. And everyone's like, well, it's teenagers, whatever. I'm like, no, most of the people I know are 40 year olds. And especially there's a lot of people just tracking their kids on there. Right. And they're like, well, what's my kid looking at? <laughs> um, and while and I'm I don't, there, and I don't have to target them anyway. I mean, because this is ads. I get to choose what age groups see my ads. The 13 year olds don't see my ads. They yeah. just don't. <laughs> well, you don't want to, you, know? you don't want you don't want to get on a sales call. Well, yeah, maybe. I have much more power than organic, you know? Yeah. So it's it's yeah it's 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 a it's a blue ocean really right now i mean not for long but it is right now yeah it is. i mean and i i always get excited about these things because it's a blue ocean of something that's not a hack you know because i i have seen you've seen this in the past where it's like hack let's hack the system and then you get busted and i know people that aren't even allowed on facebook anymore for hacking the system but this is legit yeah opportunity um and so you, you said you had a formula for the ads. Talk, talk to me about that. Yeah. And I mean, you'll, you'll see better what I mean when you see the video, if you go to my, so I do all, so I use, uh, there's so many things that I could answer for you. I'm sure that a lot of your listeners have all sorts of questions right now that are popping into their heads. I know what a lot of them are, so I'll try to answer them as I go. One of the things is, do, do I need to have an organic TikTok account? The answer is you don't need to be posting on there. It's fine. It's like Facebook. You just use it. However, it's good if you do. And I want you to use Spark ads. Uh, I mean, I get a ton of followers from my ads because I use Spark ads, meaning I post. It's essentially a boosted post um, gotcha. because that's how I get followers rather than because you actually don't need a page to run an ad. You can just like run an ad. Uh, uh -huh. But I recommend using Spark ads and doing that. Uh, but anyway, uh, so, so, oh, I was just going to say, you can go to by Matt J is my username. Just look for the video that has the most views over the past few months. And that'll <laughs> be the ad, you know, um, and you'll see how bananas it is. So essentially it's the five T's. Um, tease a secret, tell a story, turning point, teach and transition. So this is the formula for writing your script. So what you're so and this is very similar to the way that I've taught people how to write YouTube ads, right? Or it's very similar to pain, agitate, solve marketing with a little bit of storytelling and a little bit of teaching. So the first thing at the beginning is you have to hook them in. Remember that your hooks can use sound. Mm. I bet you that one of the reasons this ad is doing so good is because at the beginning, I'm whispering. Can you imagine going through your TikTok feed and somebody's whispering? You're just oh, nobody yeah. whispers on TikTok. It's working like gangbusters. I've, I've chested it multiple times. It works great. But, but and of course, I'm talking about secrets. <laughs> Did you know there's a secret way to achieve XYZ result in X amount of time? Right. So I'm teasing a secret, right? There is. And then I go into a story, right? Then you go into a story and that story is empathetic, right? So, you know, empathy is my jam. That's my book, Producing mm -hmm. Empathy. So we tell an empathetic story that um, empathizes with my ideal target market. So um, with me, uh, with this particular offer, I, I told a story about how one day my whole business crashed to the ground. I had to fire everybody on the team and I started drinking again for the first time in five years. True story. I told that story very quickly. Um, to help build a little bit of rapport and obviously help meet people where they are, you know, where they're kind of like feeling like they're in a rut. He was there too. Okay, I'm with you. Then turning point, I found the solution. Obviously, the solution is going to pivot into the offer. Teach, 
Um, I just go through the three main bullet points. Here's how it works. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do this. And then transition is essentially the call to action. So that's the script formula. It's it's hard over a podcast, but if you, so that's the script formula. There's a lot of technical stuff that goes along with that, but that's mm. the script formula. Yeah. And, and are, are you able to test, I'm, I'm, I've pulled up your 8,000 pictures of you. Okay. <laughs> see, I know. Well, I, I actually post four a day. There you go. Go to the 17,000 one. That's oh, it. Yeah. There you go. Yep. That's it right there. Look at that guy. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> you see the ADD stuff I'm doing? Yeah. Look at how much it's jumping around. I love it. Love it. You can't hear the sound, can you? Because I shared it without the sound. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that all the time on zoom and I'll start watching videos and talking to people about videos. And I'm like, Oh you know, yeah, I, I do that too. <laughs> I do that too. But this is great. I mean, just watching it, it's like, Oh yeah, this is fantastic. But you can see, right. Like how it's so much different than a video you would do on it. Yeah. There's a family guy moment in there. <laughs> I love it. Uh, if you because, guys are, like yeah, you those are the personality hits that I'm talking about, like just the little moments that show. I mean, really what I did here was I went to like some of the top YouTubers and analyzed their most watched like vlogs and stuff. And that's what oh. they're doing. You know, like they're like they're like telling us hey, they went to the bakery and then they'll go to like a quick little hit of like, oh, that dog looked cute. And then they'll go back here. And, and I was just like, OK. You know, yeah. and then I just recreated it, but I made it more cinematic, you know, like there's great lighting and it's a, it's obviously a 14 millimeter lens and, um, because it sticks out in the feed, it's not just another like selfie video. Yeah. Uh, and then I played with sound. So like a lot of those personality hits, I would go with sound effects first. Like we, like I subscribe to, um, story blocks, just like a big repository of like video and audio and images. Yeah. And I would just go into sound effects. I'd be like a oh, fire engine, you know, and I just find a fire engine, find like a, you know, so like the audience couldn't hear that, but like, there's a moment where like a glass breaks when I talk about drinking, we just go psh, breaking glass and then back. And then, uh, I make an offer that sounds crazy. And then the little girl says, shut up. I just paired the little girl with like another sound effect. Um, but literally a cut every two seconds. So the, the, so the video creative, you can't phone in like, yeah, it needs to be pretty considered and it needs to follow this format. Uh, but it works. It works. It yes. works. Obviously, yep. And yep. always it's yeah. And it's the opposite of what everybody else is doing. And which um, is, you have to, you've, you've got to yeah. be different. You've yeah. Gotta be yeah. different. And, um, and so are, are you, are you able to test different versions or did you just have to make a new yeah, video? Yeah, you can single? test whatever you want. Gotcha. You can test whatever you want. And I, I, I have, and, um, I have, to be honest with you, I just feel really, really confident in my ability to make a TikTok ad that flies right now. I think, I think I've got it nailed. So I nice. have not been testing my last few campaigns. Like I'll just put up, I'll just throw up that video. And, and if someone uh, joins your cohort, you're going to make the video for them, right? That is, that is a benefit. Yeah. Be, because I don't want that to get in the way. Like a lot of like people might be coming into the program and they might be saying, uh, oh, I can just shoot this video on my phone. And you can for sure. But, you know, it needs, you can see like that video, I edited that myself and it took me a few hours and I used DaVinci Resolve. Like I didn't like edit it in my phone or anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was a thing. <laughs> It was a yeah. thing. And I don't, I don't want that to get in, to get in people's way. I think it's a good skill to learn and, and I teach you how to do it, obviously, but I just, I just want people to get results faster. So <laughs> yeah, sort of make it, make it easier, make, make it easier to do that. Yeah. And, and you get some haters in there too. I see some haters in the comments. <laughs> always haters. <laughs> always haters. Always haters. I'm like, do you know what an open well, loop this is, is? This is another great, yeah. This is <laughs> another great thing that one of my um, mentors told me. He said that if you're not getting 
uh, trolled essentially every day, you're not marketing hard enough. <laughs> yeah, that's I a, think I think that's a good point. I think he's right about that. <laughs> that's, I, I remember I was running ads recently, and like some of my family saw them, and they called me because they're like the, the trolls were so bad. And they're like, are you all right? I'm like, Dad, that's <laughs> like, I don't really care. <laughs> yep. 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 Uh, yep, yep. I'm something. telling you, if you're not doing, if you're not all in on vertical video right now, and I am not the kind of guy who tells you to chase the sign, it's a shiny object. Trust me. I, I'm not, I don't want you to do that. But like the, the two biggest successes that I'm having right now in my business are TikTok ads and organic Facebook reels from my personal account. And both of those are like, literally, I just got and like, Facebook just asked me to be a part of its program to get paid to make Facebook reels, because I've been going so viral with those on my personal Facebook, like not a business Facebook, personal, it's crazy, they're pushing it like crazy now. Like, so like, you like, if, if you haven't started to wrap your mind around short form video, I mean, you're going to be in trouble when it comes to scaling an online business, organic, paid, whatever. Yes. And are you doing, you said Facebook reels, is that driving business for you? It is. Have you seen me around? I'm kind of everywhere. We have not seen your we, Facebook reels. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, we, we post four reels a day across all platforms. I'm what? like really dedicated to it right now. I'm going crazy. That's a lot. <laughs> I, well, I have a whole team rallying around it. It's not just me. Uh, yeah. I just shoot them, honestly. Uh, but um, I just, I think, I think you got to figure out, you got to figure out short form video. You know, I mean, I was recently listening to um, my friend Jason Portnoy's podcast. You know, Jason, he had Justin Brook on. If you know Justin Brook, you know, one of the biggest internet marketer guys. And Jason asked him, "What do you think is uh, the biggest trend coming to marketing, or whatever?" And Justin was like. I think the whole internet's going to turn into video in the next five years. Um, I think he's right. I mean, just, just, just look at what the new search engine is. TikTok. Oh yeah. I and mean, they're not getting blog posts out of that, you know? No. And YouTube's and, the second most used search engine. Yep. And it's, yep. I mean, it's, it's going to be even more so. My, I mean, and my Google is technically a bigger search engine than YouTube, but if you Google something, the first, five things they show you are YouTube videos <laughs> and they're putting YouTube shorts into the Google search results. Instant. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And I'm doing four of those a day too, you know, cause I want to be in on those search results, you yeah. know? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I just think, I think that's where it's at. Like that's the new SEO TikTok, organic TikTok is the new SEO too. I think, um, I, I don't want to be alarmist here or anything. And, you know, I'm, I'm too old to, to go with a bunch of hyperbole. I'm really excited by what I'm seeing. It's really cheap. And there's just so many people that are like, really? Like I'm having great results on TikTok ads. Really? Yeah, really. How long is it going to take you to do it? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking about it next year. Great. <laughs> We're just going to go make money while you sit around. That's you got to move fast. By the way, if anybody here is listening and they've done Facebook ads, you're good. Like TikTok essentially copied the back end. It looks exactly the same. Nice. So you just got to figure out the creative part. And I just told you how to do that. Yeah. Just do that. And it has a 4.3% click through rate or something. 4.5. I don't know what it is. Yeah. So and just go, just go. I mean, that's, that's how you do it. You know, I love it. And if you, and if you don't know, or you want to get help, I mean, a six person cohort, you can't beat, even if it's 12 people working with Matt directly. Yeah. I'll teach you how to do it. And you know, I, I don't have an agency that would do this for you. I'm not interested in that. I've had that business. I don't want it anymore. I will teach you how to do it. Also, I don't think you should hire an agency anyway, learn how to do this stuff and then hire people internally to do it. That's yeah. the way to do it. You don't need to hire an agency to do it. I love don't it. waste your money. Don't waste your money. You know, like you're just going to be frustrated and burned for the eighth time. Just yeah. learn how to do it and figure it out. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. You just got to get the creative figured out. That's all that it is. And you can shoot it on your phone as long as you've got a phone that can do cinematic mode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And well, I mean, it is, you know, if you want, 
getting creative is important. And that's why it's important to be around some other people that can give you some options and look at the creative too. I think you're really, really good at creative. And I think that some people just don't get it. So I, I that's what I, I believe completely in having right. other people look at your stuff. Totally. And listen, this is, this is, if you're watching the video, this is, this is my iPhone, by the way, this is not a DS. It looks freaking good though. Doesn't it? Yeah. It looks great. This is my iPhone. I'm using the new continuity camera feature with Mac and iPhone 13, where you can just make it into your webcam. This is the what? back facing camera and it looks fantastic. So don't tell me you can't shoot a cinematic looking video with your iPhone. I, I mean, look at this. It looks fantastic. We looks got great. Boca here. We've got, you yeah. know, you just uh, the shots all set up. We've got lights in the background to show depth of field. And this is just my iPhone. That's amazing. So no excuses. I mean, you know, I mean, I can teach you how to do the rest um, or you can watch my YouTube channel or something. I mean, it's all, it's all there. It's all there. Awesome. We're just Matt. like well, rambling during this show, but it's no, but fun. I, I love it because it's, it, there's a lot of knowledge being dropped. And also, I mean, it's live, right? It's, it's, it's something that's new. It's not a prepared presentation. It's like the news, right? It, this is marketing news. That's what's working now. Yeah. I mean, listen, I could put together a presentation on it, but like the bottom line, the bottom line is you're going, it's just like Facebook ads. You're going in the back, you're targeting interests. I have not had luck targeting hashtags or video interactions, which are other options. You're running conversion campaigns. Um, also, I've had a lot of luck with instant pages, which is, which is essentially the same as Facebook lead forms. So you, uh, but, but here's why it's better than Facebook lead forms. Um, because everybody signed up for their TikTok account in the last two years. So these are good new emails, not like old emails from 2006 when Mark Zuckerberg was in a crib, you know, like there, <laughs> you know, that's why a lot of, there's a lot of bad information when you, because the emails auto populate in these forms, like when you click them from your account automatically. So I've had a lot of luck with instant pages. There's a very specific way to set them up that I've tested. So I'd have to show you how to do that. But like, I, I'll, I'll run VSL funnels with that too. Like I'll just go instant page, they click, they sign up, they get beamed over to my CRM. And then on the last page, there's a button that says, show me your secret. And they click it and then they watch the, they watch the VSL. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, and, uh, the, otherwise it's the same as Facebook. I, I think they very intelligently copied Facebook to make it yeah. really easy to adapt. Well, that's what, I mean, that's what Facebook, that's why there's 8,000 Facebook ad agencies. Cause it was so easy for people to go run Facebook ads. And that it, right. if you, it, to this day, it's still hard to run YouTube ads and, <laughs> and get them running. Really, it really is. It really is. There's really too many options. The great thing yeah. about TikTok is it is as easy. The other good thing is, let me tell you right now, it's a, it's the perfect moment to just buck up and get in because it's not going to be as easy as Facebook ads. You're not going to see as many mm -hmm. adopters because they're going to run into the video piece and get scared or lost. So yeah. with Facebook, you could just throw up some crappy image and that used to work. Uh, but with TikTok, you're always going to have to make that right video creative. So if you can figure it out, you're going to be ahead of the game even a little bit longer. But you know, the, the TikTok ad agencies are going to start figuring it out. I don't think anybody's making TikTok ads the way that I'm teaching. I think a lot of them are doing UGC type yeah. videos. But people will start figuring it out, you know, that, that you need to go against the grain to be successful. Hell, somebody Always. probably just launched a video, right? Uh, a video agency right now as I taught them how to do it. You <laughs> exactly. know how it is in the internet business world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good. I, yeah. I, I remember one time I sat down and showed someone, I was like at a bar and they saw like back of my shirt and they're like, oh, what, how do Facebook ads work? And I showed them because it was like, because I was at a networking thing and like literally two weeks later, they had a Facebook ad agency. And I'm like, <laughs> That's so typical. I love it. I like, love it. And you know, we're the best. <laughs> we're the absolute best. And I'm like, oh. oh, I know. That's that's tough. I actually think it'll be a little bit better with TikTok ads um, because of the video piece. But yeah, you know. it's creative. Well, and that's that's exactly it. Everyone that every time I see the OS 14 update or the SEO or Google's new uh, quality content update, I'm like, you just have to get better at creative. Yep. 
That's it. Yep. That's just the right. people that weren't creative and didn't think in direct response, didn't think, like you said, and how to be different. Um, didn't really understand the user, didn't understand the platform and made average creative all of a sudden. And they were relying on the algorithms get put out of business. And they're like, Oh, it's dead. I'm like, no, you just have to get better email marketing. You just have to have better subject lines and better creative. Exactly. And if you want to, if you want to get started on this right now, just, I, there's a good, there's a free training up on tiktokprofits.org slash training. Just go you'll, so that you can get all this. I'll show you how to do it. And then you can go try it and see if you can get ahead of the game. Because it's really easy to set stuff up if you can figure out the creative. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm going to be pushing this out, sharing it. So, you know, all you folks, get on there right away. Start doing it. If you're thinking about TikTok, get on there, especially if you have an, a decent offer. If you're running VSLs, you should be on here. Matt, oh, it's yeah. been awesome. We'll put yeah, links thanks, buddy. To all this in the show notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, always yeah. a pleasure for you hopping on. We always have fun uh, yeah, chatting, buddy. and totally. uh, and uh, we'll have you on once you've made your first billion. And and uh, I, sure. I definitely I want to have you on once You're, you get you got back space from London next week. Yeah, <laughs> Bart, you're going to London for the Queen's funeral, though. That's true. That's true. Well, not for the Queen's funeral, but yeah, I'll be there during the Queen's funeral. Yeah. All right, now we're right, going. Uh, we'll, we'll put all the links in the show notes. Matt Johnson, thanks so much for being on. Thank you, and thank you for taking Matt and I on your journey. It's been on Garlic in the Garlic Marketing Show.